Hi, it's my privilege to lead us in prayers today and I just want to begin with a short passage from 2 Corinthians and um, then have a moment just to pause and reflect, shift our focus onto God and then when I do start to pray, when I say Lord in your mercy, you can respond, hear our prayer. So the passage in 2 Corinthians uh, 1 verses 3 to 5 says praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ the Father of compassion and the God of all comfort who com comforts us in our troubles so that we can comfort those in any trouble with the comfort we ourselves have received from God for just as the sufferings of Christ flow over into our lives so also through Christ our comfort overflows Gracious Father, we thank you that you are a relational God. Thank you that you came to earth to be with humanity, that you're not distant, you're not far away, but you came and walked alongside us to comfort and to heal. And we thank you for your compassion that you suffered for our sake. Lord, we pray that you would bring comfort now to all those around the world who are suffering at this time. For those on the front line helping to fight this uh, coronavirus that we're struggling with at this time, we pray you would be with them. We pray for strength, for wisdom and protection for them and their families. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we lift up our government and world leaders across the globe, Father. We pray for unity and collaboration in the political world. We pray for wisdom and clarity in their decisions. And we pray for the advisors and the scientists that they would be able to bring them informed and accurate advice to help stop this virus from affecting more people. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we pray for all those who are affected financially at this time, that you would bring peace and comfort to them. We pray that when we do go back to, to work and businesses, as it may slowly start to happen in the next coming weeks and months, we pray that this would be safe, that uh, guidance would allow for the economy to grow but without um, deficit effects to, to health and to the virus. Lord we thank you for the provision that you have given us and we thank you especially for those who are providing to those in need in our local communities in things such as food banks and, and other services. Our mission partner this week is CAP and we're especially thankful to what they're doing right now. Um, I pray for all the workers, Lord, all the volunteers, that you would be with them, that you would help them to bring your comfort and your wisdom to those in need. And in this time, CAP are facing new challenges, new difficulties in their ways of working. And we would pray that you would bring effective and constructive help to to their training and to the start of debt work that these new ways of working won't be hindered but there will be creative methods to keep your work going in this area lord we pray for the clients that they would continue to work with cap that they wouldn't be disheartened with the current time father we pray that they're be committed 
to work through their situations. There are, of course, added pressures and changing times, there's changing incomes and mental health issues and, and other personal issues. And we pray that you would keep them strong and keep them on the path with CAP. Lastly, Lord, we just pray that the people that work in CAP would have the opportunity to witness and to share your good news. Father, in this time of uncertainty, we pray that the clients would find your eternal love and mercy. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Finally, gracious Lord, I thank you for the church right now at this time. Thank you for the unity that we're seeing. I pray it may continue and that we would uh, emerge as a, as a beacon of hope and light, of comfort and grace and love to the world. Father, we ask for your presence to be with us. Help us be that light to, in this world where people are searching, searching more and more these days. On online services, we thank you that people are tuning in, that people are, are turning to you in these troubled times. Father, we pray that you would help us be the light to them. Guide us, show us how to act and to say the right things to those who are mourning or in distress. Father, help us to bring comfort to those who need it. Lord, we pray that you would bring good out of these troubled times. As you promise, your presence and glory will cover the earth and the seas. And we pray for just a glimpse of that glory, Lord. We pray for a glimpse of that hope that your kingdom will be coming. Father, we pray that we would live in that hope. We pray you would bring renewal, restoration to this world. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen.